Hey guys, welcome back to a another video. Today we some extremely unholy stuff come compiling into Pranked Crusadia Infinite Negates. Uh, and I know it's not look, it's not competitive, but it's fun to play. It has some really cool interactions that um and also plus is a good lot and gives you guaranteed follow-up and all of that. And um, before I start the video, first off, um, I, I got this idea from a uh, another video, so if you want to check it out, it has some like cool combos, like really really cool combos that like uses Brotar to search Selena, um, to search like a Dogmatic card by targeting Selene, and then you end on like a lot of good um, interruptions, which is um, I just really like that video, so I decided to make a. Um, Kind of my own variant with Infinity Gates, my own speciality. So check it out in the I card in the top right. And uh, before continuing, please subscribe. Only like four percent of you who watch are subscribed. And if all of you who watch subscribe, I would have like like way over one thousand subscribers. So uh, do just give that button a little bit of consideration. So I guess I'll start off with the deck profile, and I'll do combo tutorial later. Uh, we start off with three copies of Maximus, uh, Draco, Leonis, uh, Arborea, uh, and three Reclusia. Every single um, Crusadia monster at three. Um, full combo is any Crusadia plus any Prankid monster. So um, very consistent. Any one of your 15 ofs and any one of your um, 12 ofs. And even if you don't have access to a... Um, if you don't have access to a Prankid, you it is a bit more hand heavy and you don't get that much recursion back but you still end on infinite gates which is pretty cool um but you know just you, you're no more um crusadia stuff next up we have a uh, triple roxies lampsies dropsies fancies um prank it names you just want to see them as often as possible um, i'm not running place because i felt that would clog up my hand too much um, in terms of Crusadias, it's okay to draw multiple Crusadias since they're all extenders, but prank it, they, they're not really proactive in the hand unless you have your normal summon, which is why I, I chose not to run place, plus it's also take, it also takes a good lot of deck space, so that's something. Um, generally, you want to get access to Roxy since it's a level 444 Strix, so um, that, that, that's something. Uh, you're generally able to recycle them every turn with the effect of pranks. Uh, you get a draw each turn and you get to recycle your resources. And since you're always recycling Meow Meow and um, Doodle Doo, you, you can always just um, get access to them over and over and over again. Um, you get your entire, all the cards you use for combo back into your hand, which is really super cool. Next up, we have a Triple Ash Blossom and Meister, just your normal hand drops. Um, and then for our cool cards, we have the one Avion, the one Thunderbird, uh, for Infinite Gates, obviously. Uh, we have the one Singing Lanius, uh, it's, it's for four tricks. It's mainly to get a Wing Beast on board. I was kind of reluctant to play it, but it was the most efficient way to get a, um, a Battle Fader type card, aka uh, Link Rebo on the field. As I said, I'm reluctant. If there's a better way to just get access to uh, um, to Link Rebo, do let me know um, after I show the combo. Uh, Red MD plus Black Metal. Uh, since you are using Crusadias, you have easy access to a Dragon Link engine, so you're going to be taking advantage of that. LP, Spat, that Pisty, all of that. Um, do just combine together to do some nasty stuff with Red MD and Black Metal. Um, it's also the most concise Dragon Link engine, since I didn't want it, my deck to overflow. Uh, we have the one Pandemonium, the one copy of Pranks. Um, you can search Pandemonium on turn 2 or 3, depending on it, and then you, you just get a free butler on board. Um, it's also really useful if you don't draw any of your Crusadias. And um, Pranks is just a generic extender, and it's really what uh, combines the Prank Kid and Crusadia archetypes together. So Pranks is pretty important. Right, right, we run the one Battle Butler for Pandemonium. A uh, cool thing is ba Battle Butler is also a monster reborn along with just triggering all of your prank effects and a board wipe for free, which is really cool. Uh, we have the one copy of Four Strix, uh, Four Strix just to get a Winged Beast on board and maintain card advantage so you don't have to waste stuff to go into Reaper The only reason why I run Reaper is because um, 
if you don't have access to his, um, your one of your counterparts, then having Reproduxus is key since you might not have access to a level 4 4 4 Strix. Um, access code Appaloosa, just generic uh, rank 4s. If you can make infinite gates, having access to Appaloosa is pretty good. It's really easy to do in terms of rank gates too, which is cool. Um, and it's best in terms of Crusadia. Um, we have the uh, one copy of some more Bird of Sovereignty for Apex Avion, of course. Um, in case you don't know how Infinite Gates work, um, just read this card. I'll give you a moment. And then read this card. It is, it's kind of self-explanatory. You just use the Avion to bounce Thunderbird that's in your back row times the Union Carrier. And then you're able to bounce it, summon, and it's infinite. Um, we have the one copy of Doodle Doo. Uh, this searches either pranks or yeah, it's usually pranks turn one, pandemonium turn two. Uh, that's usually how it goes. Um, next, we have the one copy of Union Carrier. Union Carrier, really good card. Um, equips Thunderbird and does all of the stuff you really needed to do. Uh, Reprodocus. Occasionally, if you're not, you don't have access to two level fours. Reprodocus is cool if you want to go into the Simorg route. Uh, we next have the Crusadia Spatha. This is essential to get into our Dragon Link pieces. Um, just because with Dragon Link pieces, you are able to extend even further beyond. Uh, we have the one copy of Protector Well, generic uh, Dragon Link monster with two down arrows, which is why it's so important. Um, yeah, it's, you, you know us here. Just to link off Pisty. Uh, not Pisty, LP. We can banish. Pissy with the black metal, uh, darkness metal. A uh, Pissy revives a card, uh, maintains card advantage. All of, uh, it's a plus one and all of that. A uh, meow meow just turns on your prank kid engine. Um, even if you get Astra on meow meow, you can still somewhat convert into a uh, Crusadia engine. You don't do it too efficiently, but it's decent. Um, we have the one copy of LP gets you black metal and turns on your two card Dragon Link engine. Uh, we have Lake Kribo just to battle fade of somewhat, and um, since it's able to recover itself in the graveyard, it also saves a bit of extra deck space. And finally, we have the Magius, uh, really just splashes all of the engines together, um, just being able to search anything you want. Um, the Prankids engine get, gets you a free Prankids token so that you can trigger Magius' effect, and Magius searches Draco, Draco turns on your Dragon Link. Uh, it just meshes really, really well. So, um, I guess I'll just quickly do a combo tutorial now. So right here we have the combo any Crusadia plus any prank it. You'll end with infinite negates plus an extra draw plus both these cards back into your hand which is really cool. So we start off with normal summoning our prank it. Uh, we'll go into the Meow Meow. Um, we'll activate the Lampsies and we'll use its effect uh, grab a Dropsies because why not. We don't necessarily need Fancy since we don't need to load up our graveyard by any means. Um, next up, we go into the Doodle Bird. We trigger um, Dropsy's a chain link one and Doodle has chain link two, mainly because, um, well, we need the summon. The summon is kind of just more important than getting access to a prank. So um, it was probably safer to go into Fancy so that if your opponent ashes Doodle Bird, you can still just um, use Fancy's to dump the pranks and you can recover it later with Doodle Doo. Uh, anyways, we're going to be summoning Roxy's. Uh, this is a level 4 for 4 Strix. Uh, we'll special summon the Maximus to Doodle Doo's Link Zone. And then we'll use Doodle Bird's effect, adding your two prank kids back into your hands. Um, now we can go into a um, Magus. We go into we'll activate pranks. Uh, we'll use pranks, discarding dropsies, summoning a token. Uh, Magus only triggers when a, when an effect monster is summoned, so we'll have to link that into a link rebo. Now this will trigger Magus. Magus will search a copy of a Draco. Now we will go link into Spatha. Special summon the Draco. And then Draco will be able to recover the Crusader you used. So um, just like that, you have both the cards you used for combo back into your hand. Um, now we can link into LP. I uh, will use the effect of Spatha, targeting LP, moving it. We'll use LP's effect, special summoning Black Metal. Link it into a copy of Pisty. 
this triggers black metal searching a red MD. And then we can link the Spada and the P LP into a protector well. And we have to make sure both it and Pisty point to the same zone. We'll use uh, Pisty's effect to reborn a black metal. Um, this is mainly just a level 1 for Link Rebo. Uh, we'll go ahead, banish Pisty, summon out uh, Darkness Metal. And then we'll go ahead and use Darkness Metal's effect in order to summon back the Draco. This is your second level 4. Kind of convenient, it's level 4. Uh, now we'll go into the four tricks. Um, originally, I had summoned fancies off my dropsies, and I used black metal and the fancies in order to go into the Lyrilus um, Xyz monster, and I could search a DD Crow, but then my hand would just be overflowing after that, and I didn't have too many spells or traps to set, so I would have to discard one for hand cost, um, which is pretty funny. I will go into the four tricks, um, and. Um, by the way, if you go to the Lurla Scrap, you're not able to end on Link Rebo, which is a lot more essential than you do, might think. Uh, we're going to be detaching the Roxies, and then we will search a copy of Singing Lanius. We'll special summon this Singing Lanius. Uh, we'll link it and the Protector Whelp, since Protector Whelp is linked to, we can go into Sovereignty. Uh, we will link into a Union Carrier, using these two. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate the Link Rebo, tributing uh, Black Metal, summoning itself, and then we'll use the Union Carrier equipping uh, Simorg with a Thunderbird. And during the end phase, we will be able to activate Simorg, summoning an Apex Avion from your deck. And then you can use the effect of Pranks in order to shuffle back all of your combo pieces. Uh, probably Dropsies uh, um, is probably the better card to shuffle. I will shuffle all of them and get a, get a random draw. So in the end, we have ended on um, a both your the cards you used for come back in your hand. One draw, a Link Rebo, Infinity Gates, and a Prank that can generate a token. So in total, we have gone plus uh, seven, I believe. Uh, you go plus five off all of these cards, Link Rebo plus six, and the draw is plus seven, which is absolutely insane. Not a lot of decks can go plus seven, and um, even the bricks, the brick count is very small. Um, of course, this it has its flaws. It's once per chain, and you can only battlefield one attack. But you have to look past those flaws, you know. You have to appreciate it for what it is, being able to negate whatever you want. And um, before ending the video, I will probably just mouse over it slowly so that you can get every single card's name uh, in case you you just wanted um you d if you didn't catch it earlier here is every single card's name I'm doing you a favor so Reclusia, Roxies, uh, Lampsies, we have Dropsies, Fancies, uh, Ash Blossom, Meister, uh, Avion, Thunderbird, Singing Lanius, Darkness Metal, Black Metal, Anemonium, Pranks, and um, you know, before ending the video, I, I'd just like to ask you to like and subscribe, and uh, if, if you found this nice, do share it on to your friends or whoever plays Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe at Locals or something. Um, as I said, not the most competitive thing on earth, but it's fun. It has, um, it's somewhat decent, it's got recovery, uh, so it has that kind of mid-range element to it, which is pretty cool. Um, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time. If you have any um, video ideas, you can leave them down in the comments below. And I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.